Hello, folks. This is、uh, Kitchen Quickie from Yardy Belly TV, and it has to do with cilantro. Now, guys, I use a lot of cilantro, as you can see, and one of my major concerns is having my cilantro stay fresh. And so today, I'm going to do two things just to show you how to maintain fresh cilantro at least for a couple of weeks going into a month. As you can see,、uh, after a couple of days, we have a whole bunch of, you know, black leaves starting to appear, starting to get really, really nasty, and you don't like them. You don't like them because the longer it stays with the black leaves, is the more it as as it is corrupts the rest of the cilantro, and you have a lot to throw out. So, in order to maintain your cilantro、uh, for a long period of time, I'm gonna give you a simple, simple hack that you can use. To get your cilantro,、um, you know, done, it's gonna involve preparing your cilantro in a in a different way and storing your cilantro in a different way. This is how my cilantro comes from my regular store. You just get it in a little bag like this, and by the time you put it in the fridge for maybe two days,、um, yeah, your cilantro gets bad, gets wilted, gets bad. And so, let's see if we can make it happen. Store it for a little bit longer, and this is how we're gonna do it. Stay tuned. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get some paper towel down, and you're gonna take your cilantro, and you don't want to wash your cilantro, guys, because moisture is the major problem why your cilantro is is wilting uh, 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 prematurely. And so you want to take your cilantro, and I I I just take my cilantro and just put them in a nice you know palm、um, or something like that. You just want to put them down on your thing as neatly as you can. You know, you're cleaning them along the way, making sure you take out all the, those moist, those leaves that are wet. You know, are full of moisture, or if it looks super wilted, you take those out quickly. You want to save it with the stems as well. Don't, don't discard the stems. All right, because one of the things that we don't understand is that there is.、Um, Whatever the, the, the cilantro needs to continue living, there is energy still in the stems. So if you take the stems out, the cilantro will wilt. The leaves will wilt almost immediately. All right. So what you want to do is this is this amount to a, a normal bunch of cilantro, and you just want to put it sort like so. See that? Until you get a nice amount. Right. And I'm just going through and trying to find those nice, healthy-looking pieces of cilantro. And I use cilantro in many different applications, that even also as、um, tea, because cilantro is super good at detoxifying your kidneys and removing metals from your from your body. So you want to drink some cilantro tea at least once a month. You know you want to drink some cilantro tea, and I have the tea in my description, in my um playlist, my vegan playlist. So you can also check that out. You know. All right. So we have a nice little amount here. Could do a little bit more, but this is good enough. You don't need any much more than this for a given month. All right. If you try to store much more than this, you're gonna end up with a whole bunch of black cilantro leaves. All right. So you have to utilize the cilantro. And so, guys, once you have them like this, you know what you want to do is you want to fold. And I could put a little bit more. I'm gonna put a little bit more because I really want to push it down and keep it like that. You know. So let me do a little bit more. All right. So once you have your cilantro, you just want to fold it in a semi-tight, you know,、um, bundle. You want to make your your napkin a little bit tight, 
you know, because ear is the problem, guys. Ear and moisture is the major problem that causes your cilantro to go bad. All right, and so I, I have myself a Ziploc bag here, and you're just gonna open your Ziploc bag, and you go down to where the stem is, so you can, you know, do a bend closer to the stem. You need a bigger Ziploc bag, but I, I'm working with what I have. All right, and you just wanna put them in. You wanna push out all the air out of your Ziploc bag as much as possible push out all the air and Ziploc in shut and guys this should last in your refrigerator for quite some time all right so you can put April and see you know how long it lasts all right that's number one let's move on to the next step of how we can preserve our cilantro so the next step involves washing your cilantro as best as you can and allowing it to air dry uh, for about 10-15 minutes all right you want to air dry it I have it in my strainer here and I'm just gonna allow it to just sort of dry and drain for about 10-15 minutes because you don't want this to be super wet then the next thing I also have is some some garlic right here and I'm using about maybe about four or five cloves of garlic especially because I love garlic I also have some extra virgin olive oil and as you can maybe guess by now I am going to make uh, somewhat of a cilantro oil all right and this is a way in which you can preserve your cilantro and add it to your uh, recipes without it going bad pre pre prematurely and also you can also add it as a dressing or as a marinade you can utilize it much better than you know if it was just in the leaf form the reason why I saved it in this form is because there are times when you need it for garnish or if I'm making cilantro tea then I need it like this but for the most part we can add our cilantro to our dishes in the form of an oil or a sort of cilantro oil paste and so that's what I'm making today a cilantro garlic paste using olive oil all right so this is gonna air dry for about 10-15 minutes and then we're ready to put it in our food processor. All right, so in the interest of time, I just put my, my cilantro in my trusty salad, salad spinner and just pour out all the water liquid out of it over there and it is, it is relatively dry right now and this is the amount of liquid that you get out of that all right so the next thing i'm gonna do now is bring my food processor into the play and we're gonna see if we can start to process this down so now i want to just compactly you know put my, my and i'm using the stems as well guys all right but you want it to do leaves ain't nobody got time to just pick leaves of cilantro right now so I'm using the stems as well and I have the garlic at the bottom so we're gonna see how best we can utilize this and as I showed you guys my my cilantro if it, if it had stayed in the fridge like how it was for maybe another day or so we wouldn't have any cilantro we would not have any all right so we, it's gonna we're just gonna pour some oil now and we're gonna be good to go let's drain all of this oil in there into this bottle first and then we're gonna open the next bottle And you're gonna use you're not gonna use a lot of, of oil guys because you really want the cilantro to come to shine so you're not gonna use a whole bunch of oil you better use the cilantro in and I'm 
gonna add a little bit more oil and the garlic is super strong in this case I'm gonna also add a little salt as salt acts as a preservative so you know and guys if you have a, a bigger um, food processor then obviously all of this would go would go in one go everything out and we're gonna be blending all right so now we get everything into our food processor and we're gonna be putting a little bit more oil now all right and I will I will put the amount of oil in the description box so that you guys can you know be aware but you you also um the, the the thicker you want it to be is the less oil you use and i'm adding a little bit of salt all right that's maybe about a teaspoon of salt all right all right now i have leaves um you know blocking up my my thing so let me fix those scrape down the sides of your bowl and you can pulverize this until it is finished and guys there you have it look at that let me just scrape down the sides a little bit more and then i'm gonna do maybe one more pulsing again if you had a a, a, a food processor that is a better quality you would have it much finer but for now i don't mind it being rustic you know this is a beautiful way to preserve your cilantro pure cilantro with a little hint of garlic and if you didn't want garlic in it you didn't have to put garlic in it but yeah this is awesome let me just rub down the sides and one more couple more pulses and then i will put it in my storage container Again, all the little loose ends are bigger pieces. I'm gonna keep pulsing it until I'm comfortable that I've got most of them out. And what I have is pure unadulterated cilantro with a little olive oil. Guys, it is so flavorful. And I tasted it and the salt content is just the right amount. And it's, it's going good, going good, going good. Let's see if we can finish this up right quick. All right, this should be it. Yes, that should be it. Now I'm gonna find myself an airtight container to store this in and then we shall see so there you have it guys our two ways of you know preserving your cilantro uh, giving it a little bit more longevity in your refrigerator so for this i just wrap the fresh cilantro in uh, napkins and put it in an airtight bag to make sure that it stays that way and if you use it if you open the bag again once you take out your piece you wrap it again and you press down and make sure all the air is out guys it's tedious but that's how you have to preserve it if you want to use your cilantro and here i put a little bit of uh olive oil with my cilantro and processed it and guys olive oil garlic cilantro and salt and guys this is so good let me tell you how good this is you would not believe it it is so good that you can just have it with a piece of bread look instead of butter you can just rub it on your bread 
that's how good this is guys you will not be disappointed if you're doing toast if you're making scrambled eggs whatever it is that you're making this goes perfectly with it all right just a little lemon squeeze a little lemon on that and perfect mm -hmm. yeah no it's bread bar But this is a beautiful way to preserve your cilantro and guys it lasts in the refrigerator for up to a month all right and you have to be careful with this remember that olive oil does go rancid if it stays too long so you're gonna utilize it as best as possible right keep the oil at the top always make sure that the oil is there's a little bit of oil on top so that your cilantro is preserved in the oil as much as possible you know so I'm gonna just tip a little bit more oil in this you just want to tip a little bit more oil and guys this will last in your fridge for you know maybe a month maybe a little bit over a month you know yeah beautiful don't it all right so once again guys yeah the belly tv remember to like share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend we are doing it here on yeah the belly tv two ways to preserve your cilantro for use in your home bless up big up on yourself and peace in the middle east